What is this? Ew, what is this? That's terrifying. Ew, what is this? Ew. This is how I feel in the mornings when I have to wake up early. <laughs> Hey, you ever just like hanging out with like a friend or a family member and you were just like chilling and a mysterious submarine shows up with a ominous green light and you're like, hey, let's go investigate it. And then it turns into a murder mystery. Well, I got the game for you. The Mermaid's Tongue. All right, great new file. Let's go. The beginning. I love the cursor. Little, little, little hand poking things. The uh, the stone top in. Right, what's she here? We got we got ourselves a person. It's Sally. She's fast asleep. Oh, Sally's sleeping. Okay. To be fair, it is four in the morning. <laughs> uh, it's four in the morning. As one does, they sleep. <laughs> I agreed to stay awake and see if anyone shows up. So far, nothing. Okay. I love that it is voiced. You don't see a lot of like visual novels and have it like voiced. Usually got to read all that. <laughs> Who does that? Who reads nowadays? Ew. <laughs> Fishing trips on board the dearest Selena. I'm guessing that's the name of the ship. Enquire with Felicia Stone Top at the bar or with Sylvia Seafoam at the harbor. Hmm. What's it's this? some book Sally's been reading. But can I look at it? She insisted oh. that we bring it with us, although I'm not sure why. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. JD Weirman. Weirman. Hex of the Helmsman. Ooh. Oh, there's a hand here? <gasps> Spooky. Oh, and like eyeballs. Oh, I can move it. Oh, okay. Oh. Something terrible awaits you in the depths. Will you face it? Um, can someone explain to me uh, what that says over here? Uh, 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 uh. Cool. All right. Well, that's what that is. <laughs> that's what that said. I'm not going to repeat it. Okay. Um. All right. Open. Oh, hold on, what does this say? A paperback novel belonging to Sally. It looks like, or it looks to be a not, not a cool fantasy adventure. Right, Hex of the Helmsman by J.D. Weirman. I'm sure that's lovely to listen to. <laughs> uh, there's a photograph of a well-dressed man on the inside cover. Oh, he is well dressed. Look at him. Oh, he's got rings. That jawline, ninety degree jawline. <laughs> New ASMR sound unlocked. <laughs> uh, can I read what that says? Can't read what that says. Okay, let's see here. Uh, read. Ooh, Kristen Kale Publishing, J.D. Weirman, Hex of the, S the. I was about to say the salesman. <laughs> Hex of the salesman. Yep. Alright, something terrible. Oh, I already, I already read that. Oh, I could read this. I could read the... Alright. Um, he sees it in his dreams. Oh, what if... Because it's going to be like old-timey, right? It's supposed to be old-timey, so... <clears throat> he sees it in his dreams. He sees it when he closes his eyes. He cannot escape it. But what is it? Renowned helmsman Marcus Mordoom is a man with a singular purpose. He will not rest until he uncovers the truth of what's really hiding beneath the waves. All right. All right. With this debut novel, author J.D. Weirman is already carrying out a place, carving out, <laughs> carving out a place. Uh, for himself in the annals of history. Annals. That's the way that's. It's a rearrange and get rid of a letter. <laughs> Very close. Um, his mastery over the typewriter shines through in every beautifully, beautifully, yep, beautifully crafted sentence. The only question I have is this. How can he possibly follow this up? Okay. Hex of the Salesman. 
<laughs> For TW Ibis. Ibis? Ibis? Ibis. For uh, impairing upon me uh, what it is to love the art of writing. Oh, I get to read the first page? <laughs> Let's go. <clears throat> Marcus Mordum tightened his grip on the wheel and started out across the bleak horizon. On this morning, the familiar frigid air of the South Sea carried something more than salt, uh, salt spray as it wiped or whipped around his weathered face. On this morning, can you start a sentence with on this morning again? Hold on. Did, didn't it? On this morning, on this morning. Is that allowed? <laughs> Is that allowed in writing to start two sentences with the same thing? Um, this familiar howling voice of the wind seemed to be in duet with a much grander voice. A voice that spoke in language that Mordum could not understand. Not yet. <laughs> Illegal writing move. That's like rhyming uh, the same word with itself, you know? <laughs> You can't rhyme the same word over and over. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> on this on this morning, okay. On this morning, okay. <laughs> uh, of the Helmsman by J. D. Werman. Looks like Sally's read through it a couple of times already. I wonder what's so interesting about it. Maybe the fact that he starts the same sentence over and over again with the same thing. Is that it? Oh, ooh, what is this? Magnus Mortuga. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Uh, his little beefy noodle arm and fingerprint tattoo. Look at him. Look at that. He's got the little, like, he's, he has the lean, right? He has a lean. One arm. Look, he could be, he's comfortable because one arm is warm. The other one is cold. So it balances out. This guy's smart. This guy's smart, dude. Ex-captain of the Mortuga submarine. Uh, and the murder victim. Oh, okay. All right. All right, let's see what else we got here. Someone's done a pretty half-hearted job of boarding up the windows. Maybe they left in a hurry. A wooden carving of a fish skeleton. If the windows weren't boarded up, you'd be able to see it from outside. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. It's a painting of a sea serpent. Wait, is it a serpent if it has legs? No, it's not a serpent if it has legs. No. What do you think, Sally? Yo, same, relatable. Ah, thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> you know what? It kind of looks like Haku. You know, it kind of looks like Haku from Spirited Away, with like little tiny baby arms. <laughs> Barstools. The wood is rotting, so I've strategically chosen not to sit on them. Okay. There's nothing written on the barrels. I'm sure they were once filled with some kind of wonderful, unsanctioned local ale. Prohibition? Lamps. <laughs> Lamps. They've stopped giving out light and taken up dust collecting. That's also what I plan to do when I retire. <laughs> Just collect dust? <laughs> That's the most relatable thing I've ever heard in my life. It's the case file. The reason we're here. It was left for us right here on the bar. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, for Detective Grimoire. A rugged leather-bound folder. It was left on the bar of the Stone Top Inn. Anything else? I like the shader that they have for this for this 3D render of it. It looks like a 2D thing, but like you move it around. It's really cool. I really like how they how they animated this uh, 3D thing book. <laughs> uh, case files. All right, cool. Ooh, picture. Picture. Oh, there's the captain. That's the captain. Anything on the back? No. Okay. Uh, a single handwritten letter and uh, two photographs. All right. For Detective Grimoire. Murder victim. Captain Magnus Mortuga. 
39. That guy was not 39. This guy? Captain Sifa. As far as I oh, know, whoops. who hired us. And who left the case file here in the inn. But where are they now? Where is anyone? Sally, what do you think? Mm. Great contribution. <laughs> She's sleeping. Let her sleep. This guy does not look 39, okay? Maybe at least looks like 50. Maybe 46. <laughs> he does not look 39. Um, all right, uh, location, Illusion Theater, Mortuga Submarine. Mortuga had locked himself in the room. Oh, okay, locked himself in the room. You can believe he's pushing 40? Mm, okay. Maybe I'm just bad at, like, figuring out age. <laughs> That's probably 100% it. Um, it was later forced open and the body was discovered. Mortuga was found alone, lying on his back with a single cut across his throat. No uh, bladed weapon of any kind was found in the room. Oh, a classic locked room mystery? Oh, man, those are always fun. The Illusion Theater is mostly empty, save for an ancient stone cauldron with uh, a thick metal lid. The purpose of the cauldron is unknown. However, I am informed that it uh, has never been unlocked before. Uh, it is now unlocked. It is now open. Signed, Captain Seafoam, Captain of the Mortuga Submarine. I thought I heard something outside. Uh oh. Hello? Hello? Sally, wake up. We have to go. No. Why? Because there's an eerie green light trying to lure us outside. Uh oh. At least it's not a eerie blue light. Trying to lure you because then that would be like the aliens from Skyline. No, oh, that's a pretty good reason. I don't know if that's too deep of a cut movie reference for anyone. <laughs> also, not a good movie. <laughs> I think it's time to go outside. To move around, use the map button in the bottom left. Oh, okay. Are we done though? I think I guess we're done. Ooh, okay. Oh, look at these little cute guys. Look at them. Town Square. Oh, look at that. Oh, hello. Are you awake? I thought I was, but maybe not. Maybe this is my dream. Hmm. How do we know we're actually in a dream or if this or are awake? Hmm? How do we know? It's not a dream. That's exactly what Dream Grimoire would say. <laughs> let's, all right, let's take a look around. Theater. Baroness Fortuna presents Fortuna Hall. Performing tonight, Waylon Wolf. Oh, tonight? Yeah, we didn't come all this way to go to the theater. Yeah, but we could. Also, the sign is several years old. Uh oh. <laughs> it's like when you find, like, you go through, like, your old stuff and you find, like, a magazine that has, like, Hey, uh, so, like, fill this out and send it via mail, right? <laughs> to get, like, a free thing. And it's like, oh, this was from, like, 10 years ago. I wonder if it'll still work. <laughs> the Stone Top Inn. The best inn in Silkworm on Sea. It's the only inn. And therefore the best. Therefore the best. I do love the art style of this. This looks amazing. I, I like... This whole world, like uh, this hand drawn aesthetic and like the characters. I really like it. I like the it's kind of the the art style that I've been doing recently with like the more rounded face. Um, I like it. I'm a big fan. Uh, also thick. Uh, what's this? A large stone statue on top of a fountain. It looks like a fisherman wrestling with some kind of dragon. It says right here. The silkworm serpent. It can't be a serpent. It has legs. <laughs> right? 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 <laughs> right? It's just Haku from Spirited Away. Another abandoned building. Mr. What do you think oh, whoops. Sell? Currently? Nothing. Does that mean it's free? It's the stone top emblem, I guess. Looks like a snowman. It's not. Why would it be a snowman? <laughs> All right, then, what is it? 
I think it's three stones stacked on top of each other. Well, that one's floating. So two stones and one floating stone. Oh, that actually does make more sense. <laughs> this face is a mood. All right. There's an old lighthouse up on the rock. Can we go up to the top? Do you have permission from the lighthouse keeper? No. Can we ask? Then no. <laughs> um, okay. Let's check out this light. There's something in the water. What is it? I don't know. But whatever it is, is the source of the green light. Well, let's go to the... Oh, ooh, what is this? What just came out of the water? Is that... A submarine. Submarine? I think I can see someone standing on the deck. Oh, uh-oh. Maybe we should go take a look. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's walk over there and talk to this person. <laughs> this ominous person that came out of the, uh... Uh... Submarine. What is this? Ew, what is this? An old wooden boy. No, that is not what that is. With a face. That's terrifying. Ew, what is this? <laughs> Ew. Ew. This is how I feel in the mornings when I have to wake up early. <laughs> Uh, it's chained to the deck of the Mortuga submarine. There is a faint green glow in its eyes. Right? Uh, what is this? This is where the green light was coming from. I noticed it started to fade as soon as we stepped onto the deck. So, it's a boy that doubles as a lighthouse? The opposite, really. A lighthouse warns you to stay away, but this thing lured us in. Hmm. Anything new? Nope. Just. Mortuga. It's dark. Looks like the sun is trying to come out. I needn't have bothered. We're not going to be around to see it. Oh no. How come? What? Yeah, how come? Because we're going inside the submarine. Who said we were going in the submarine? Oh yeah. I didn't agree to this. An old rowing boat. Or. Or what? Or it only has one oar. Oh. <laughs> Looks like it originally said Seafell, but that got crossed out, and now it says Mortuga. Also, how's the paint still on it when it's all like salt water? Wouldn't that just like get rid of the paint? I'm getting mutiny vibes from this. I don't know about you. <laughs> it's the wrong way around. What? Take another look at the case file. Take a look at the case file. Over here, let's go to the case file. Murder victim, Mortuga. Mortuga locked himself in the room. Yeah, Mortuga was found. Okay, across the, yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh. Uh, Mortuga submarine. Ooh, you see that? <laughs> hmm? Mortuga submarine, but this one says seafoam slash it's opposite. It's opposite. The door's open though. Somebody must have opened it after the submarine surfaced. Does that constitute an invitation? Uh clearly. Ready, Sally? <laughs> Ooh, we're going in. Oh, that doesn't look like a normal submarine though. Doesn't look like a normal submarine. What's at the bottom of the ladder? I can't see. It's pinch black. Oh, this is where people die. Should we go back up? Yes. Oh, wait, I think there's a lever. You're just gonna pull a lever in the dark? Oh, all right, well, at least it worked out. <laughs> at least it worked out this time. Cool. This is the weirdest submarine I've ever been on. And the first? And the first. <laughs> so technically this would be a normal submarine, seeing as you've never been on any other submarine, right? And this is your first experience physically being in a submarine? You know, all the other pictures and images of submarines could just be the weird ones, and this is what submarines actually look like on the inside. The candles are actually lit. Some of them, anyway. 
I'm guessing this place hasn't booked its quarterly fire safety inspection. Probably not, no. What's in the frames? They're just ocean landscapes. Okay. It's like an old fashioned drawing room. I don't see any drawings. There's paintings. It's short for withdrawing, as in you withdraw there after dinner. Oh, I just call that my room. <laughs> I just call that my room. I'm just going to start referring to my room as the drawing room. I actually never knew that. I cleaned the couch. What? If we end up having to stay the night. Sally, we are not staying overnight on the murder submarine. <laughs> but I brought my toothbrush. <laughs> Lurking for a bit. Okay. Okay. I'll see here. What do we got here? There's an old-fashioned speaker mounted on the wall. It's playing spooky music. It's the kind of music you'd hear at a fancy party for vampires. Oh man, that's my favorite genre of music. I hear it. Fancy vampire music. But the vampires are all wearing masks, and there's one guy who's secretly not a vampire and Sally. Mm hmm What no continue, I wanna know. I wanna know. This is kinda like a it, it it's like a weird vampire eyes wide shut kind of situation. Kind of books have we got? Mysteries of the deep, wonders of the ocean depths, secrets of the darkest, deepest. Okay, it's safe to say a clear theme is emerging. <laughs> I guess this is what lights up the room when you pull the switch. I wonder what they burn to make it pink. Uh, probably something that we shouldn't be breathing in. This is the lever you pulled? Yeah, so leave it alone. I don't want it to go dark again. Spooky. A glass of wine. Ominously left half finished. Ominously. Maybe the wine was corked. Ominously? Ominously. Ominously corked. Ominous. Yeah, yeah, ominously. Ominously? Her. Wow. What is that? Whoa, what is that? What? That's like a face. There's a face and like some weird creepy Lovecraftian sea creature, a thing of nightmares. Ooh, what is this? Oh, three stones. What, two earrings? So that's the, that's the inn. And then I don't know what this is. That's a th something. But that's the inn sign. Two earrings, I'm assuming. Er. All right, a large painting of some unknown being. It is set in an ornate wooden frame. The brass plaque displays a single word. Er. Usually, it has, uh, no, unusually, it has been uh, set directly into the painting. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I read that weird, I guess. <laughs> I read that weird. Interesting. There's something weird about this painting. What? The smell. It smells weird. Yeah, you're right. It smells like... It's kind of earthy. Damp. Well, it's an old painting. Old things smell. It's just weird because we're in a submarine. But it smells like soil. Interesting. Can I? It's the ladder leading back up to the foredeck. Yeah, but can I go back up there? It's the ladder leading back up. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> it's like an old fashioned. I don't see any. It's short. I... Okay. Uh, I was thinking I could go back up there because if I it does. Um, if I turn this around, this is the the thing for the inn, right? I just don't know what these two earrings are, or what could potentially be the earring. Um. So, I was thinking, oh, maybe there's something in there. Maybe that's, this is the sea serpent that is on the wall? I don't know. I don't know. I think this door leads into the control room. I want to go into the control room. I want to go into the control room, too. Well, we can't. It's locked. Yeah, but we could look through the window. Get jump scared. Captain Seafoam. It 
that's taped up on the other side of the door. You don't need to come in here. The crime scene is one floor down at the very back of the submarine. Captain Seafoam. Thanks for the directions, I guess. <laughs> do you get the sense that the captain is hiding from us? Hiding. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Hmm, that seems suspicious. That seems very suspicious. All right, can I go back up here? Can I? Oh, I can't go back. Oh, boo. Boo. Let's get to the crime scene first. <sighs> what if I... Okay. Let's head to the crime scene. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I know I'm not allowed to go explore because it's a demo. Playing cards. Looks like someone got dealt a bad hand. Oh, really? I have no idea. I just thought that would sound cool. <laughs> got him. Three tables arranged into a Z shape. It's actually more like an S from this angle. Oh, maybe they were trying to write my name, but they ran out of tables. <laughs> That's it. That's 100% what it was. <laughs> oh, this looks like dead coral. Is coral ever alive? Yeah, it's a it's an animal. Coral are marine animals, dude. What? <laughs> Pufferfish lamp. Cute. A timeless classic. Cute. Wait. Are these windows or lights? Both. That's a good idea since you'd never get any natural light down here. Okay. There's the serpent with legs again. It's a big metal statue of a serpent. Uh, there is a cabinet built into it, but I think it's locked. Uh, look closer. Oh, rotate the four dials into the correct uh, arrangement. Right. Uh, what is that? Nope. Four dials with a window in the center of each one. Turning each dial rotates the shapes that appear in the surrounding windows. What do those numbers mean, though? Okay. All right. Uh, I'm assuming it's the the number of sides, right? Oh. Uh, all right. Four, three. All right. So that one's three, nine. So that one's a four, five. Um, that's 10. This is nine right here. Okay. Seven. Maybe this one, not this one, be. That is the. So this one is like that, right? This one is not like that. This one is. Ah, all right. So there you go. This one. And then. I'm missing a thing. Am I missing a thing? Where does this go? Oh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, okay, so three, seven, four, nine. That's the one. Yeah, let's go. Good job. The little cabinet opened. Anything in there? It must be important, it's locked. This. Pills? Pills? Onion? Sun? Sunion? Oh, they're Sunion pills. Oh, dude, not Sunion pills. Oh, Sun tablets. Okay. <laughs> uh, a brown glass bottle containing three variants or varieties of tablets. Uh, there is nothing printed on the label, but someone has drawn a simple picture of a sun and an onion. A Sunion. Open. Um, can I take them? Can I put them in my pocket? Well, there's three variants. Is that going to be a thing? Okay. 
Okay. All right. What is this? It's a big metal statue of a serpent. Oh. I opened the cabinet and found this. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay. Where already looked at that? Okay. Eh. Uh, what is this? The ladder leading back up to the parlor. All right. What is that? I guess this is the mess hall. It is kind of a mess, yeah. Yeah. Pots and pans for cooking. Hey, it's a kitchen. We didn't have one of those last time. What? Nothing. What do you mean by that? Hold on. There's a mystery going on here. What do you mean by that? A picture of a fish. Delightful. Um... Is that it? A wooden chandelier. Oh, yeah, we unlocked a whole bunch. Wow, okay. Uh, I'm assuming these highlighted things are the things that we could go to. The rest is demo-related. Or... Yeah, like stuff that we have to skip past because Let's demo. Let's go to the crime scene before we do anything else. Okay. All right, well, to the crime scene we go, I guess. <laughs> I want to explore. Uh, all right, illusion theater. Someone's taped a drawing to the wall. I think it's supposed to be a poster. Title here, Illusion Theater. Ooh. And Baroness Fortuna presents The Lady of the Looking Glass. Unfathomable beyond any uh, thing I can imagine. Uh, inconceivable, I don't know what to believe anymore. Uh... Book tickets, Fortuna Hall, Silkworm on the on sea Monday, Saturday, Monday through Saturday, starting at eight p.m. So we got a guy. We have the this. Is, oh, is this death because of the scythe? So we got death. We got a guy. And we have a spiky half ball. Okay. A hand-drawn poster taped uh, to a pipe on the wall in the Illusion Theater. Title here. All right. Title here, Illusion Theater. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> Baroness Fortuna presents Lady of the Looking Glass. Unfathomable. Beyond anything I can imagine. Inconceivable. I don't know what to believe anymore. Book tickets. Fortuna Hall. Silkworm on Sea. Monday through Saturday starts 8 p.m. Okay. 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 Someone. I think it's supposed to be a poster. Yep. Okay. So that's the porthole. There's death. Right. I'm still trying to figure out whatever this is. Little little wizard guy, and he's sitting in. He's sitting in this cauldron. It's a little window. It looks out into the endless dark void of the ocean. Why did you face it like that? I mean, she's not wrong. I don't know. There's a little broken bottle on the floor. I'm guessing Mortuga dropped this when he died. Looks like poison or purple drink. <laughs> The purple drink? Let's see here. A small glass bottle found smashed on the floor in the illusion theater. Un uh, some unknown purple liquid has spilled out. Lick it. Taste it. Is it grape? The bottle has a small paper label on which someone has drawn a simple picture of a moon. So the other, the pills were the sun and this purple drink is the moon. Okay. So we have a sun vial and a moon vial. The stool's been knocked over. Doesn't it look familiar to you? Like the ones in the inn? Sally, it's a standard wooden stool. I don't. It looks exactly like the bar stools in the stone top inn. Okay. Uh, what is this? Someone's hung up a banner with the words "Illusion Theater" painted on it. Are you sure that's paint, or is that blood? Ooh. 
what's the illusion, I wonder? You know, I think this room's had some kind of rebranding. Rebranding from what? What was Possibly it? Possibly nothing. Oh, what? Oh. A small room like this wouldn't normally have a name at all. There's a cloth hanging up on the wall. Are those footprints? Hmm. The stargazing girl. Okay. It's on the back. Nothing really. Okay. A square of thick silk cloth found hanging up on the wall of the Illusion Theater. In the Illusion Theater. Uh, footprints have been marked in the center of a circular imprint. Okay. Uh, someone has painted the words, the stargazing girl. Alright, well, if we go over here. Someone's the drawing. I yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to oh, this is hair. So there's the stars, right? Which is her. Oh, I see. And that's a porthole. That could be represented as like death, right? That's like her cape. That's her hair. Cape, hair. That's her magic wand? Question mark. Stargazing. That's death on the other side. Uh, looking through the glass. Okay. Um, I see a thing here. What is this? There's a wooden panel on the wall here. Can you see anything through that little hole? No, it's too dark. Hmm. He was very brave to stick his eye to this hole. So many things could come out of it. <laughs> dangerous and dangerous. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is the cauldron. Not quite what I was expecting. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, there's scratch marks on it. We got some scratch marks and Oh, this is the thing that, like, uh, was saying that, um, it's never been opened, right? Earlier in, in one of the somethings, right? In the case file or something? Um, alright. <clears throat> Let's see here. What happens if I shut? Oh, fancy. Okay. Uh, an ancient-looking stone cauldron found in the Illusion Theater in front of the Mor in front of Mortuga's body. The glittering interior of the cauldron is marked with several deep scratches. The ex exterior is spotted with algae and barnacles. However, these are uh, absent in the inside of the cauldron and the uh, and on the metal lid. We got a gear. We have a gear. Okay. And on the inside, it has scratch marks. So something was in there scratching to get out is my guess. Right, and if we go back over to oh, there we go. Yeah, so case file open. Um, yeah, right here. The illusion theater is mostly empty, uh, save for an ancient stone cauldron with a thick metal lid. The purpose of the cauldron is unknown. However, I am informed that it has never been unlocked before. It is now open. Or it is now unlocked. It is now open. Uh, murder victim, Captain Magnus Mortuga. Yep, submarine. Mortuga has <clears throat> uh, locked himself in a room, uh, and it was later for uh, it was later forced open. The body was discovered. Mortuga was found along alone, laying inside on this back. The single cut across his throat. Uh, no bladed weapon of any kind was found in the room. Right, so it could have been the claws, right, that caused this, you know, the thing that killed him. So he unlocked it and whatever was inside, potentially death, <laughs> um, killed him, right? So this is where Magnus Mortuga died. It's just like the case file said. He landed on his back with a cauldron at his feet. He was killed by getting cut across the neck, right? Yeah. You can see that's where the blood came from. But there's no weapon. No knife or anything. 
Because it was the claws. Nothing. Hmm. This place oh, oh, okay. Gives me the creeps. Oh, I like this. Especially. I keep staring into it like I'm going to see something. And it really does seem to be empty. To quote from the case file, Mortuga had locked himself in the room. It was later forced open, and the body was discovered. So Mortuga was alone in a locked room. A very small locked room. There really isn't anywhere for a murderer to hide. But I'm not so sure. I think there is a hiding place. For a murderer to hide? Uh, on the roof? Because we haven't checked the roof. Or through this little hole? Or somewhere else in the ship that we can't go to? Because demo? Uh, what happened to Magnus Mortuga? What happened to him is he died. Um. All right, Captain Seafoam is hiding. Right, he's like, hey, don't come over here. Don't come over here. Uh, just check out the murder scene, please. Thank you. So he could be hiding from whatever was unleashed from this cauldron, right? Uh, what options do we got here? Killed, removed, unlocked, replaced. Uh, so... So, Magnus Mortuga unlocked the cauldron, right? And... And was killed by what was inside. That's the most logical explanation, right? Based off of this. What else is there? Uh, in order to frame somebody else, uh, and hiding, or, and hid something inside, killed the person inside. Because someone told him to, and was killed by what was inside. This, this is literally what happened, yeah. So this is what happened, right? Somehow we figured out how to unlock it, even though we don't know exactly what or how he unlocked it but somehow we unlocked it right because he has there's the i don't i'm sure these are just red herrings right so like the the moon and the sun um bottles uh, but those are not options on here so wooden buoy or bowie bowie however you say it right i say buoy even though it, technically it's more bowie because buoyancy right um so could be replaced locked killed removed unlocked i think it's just a cre it's just a very specific looking thing i don't know so what happened to him so he unlocked killed locked i think this is it right here so he unlocked the cauldron somehow and was killed by what was inside. Um, yeah, I think I think that's what it's gonna be. Um, and was killed by something inside. Eh, unlocked. Yeah. All right. Magnus Mortuga unlocked the cauldron was killed by what was inside. Ooh, I like this. This is fun. This is really fun. I really don't think a person would fit in that cauldron. And didn't they say it had never been unlocked before? And if that's true, there couldn't have been anyone in there. Right. I agree. I don't think it was a person. Then what? I don't know. But you have to wonder why it was kept locked in the first place. I'm guessing there was something pretty bad in there. <sighs> Look... Mortuga died from a cut across his neck, not from some vague paranormal entity. Unless you're suggesting it was a vague paranormal entity with a knife. Did you get a good look at the inside of the cauldron? There was something I noticed. Well, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> kind of obvious. Do 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 scratches.
Ooh, chapter one. The Curse of the Cauldron. Oh, what is this? We got a little thing back here. Oh, that's cool. This is a very interesting looking submarine. It's like a ship submarine. That's really cool. What? Hey, that was it? That was it? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. You can't just get me to like solve a little bit of the mystery and then they're like, oh, nope, sorry. End of the demo. <sighs> that was fun. I. This mystery. Oh, dude. All right. We're going to learn about the mermaid's tongue. Okay. When this game comes out, because I'm vibing with it. I, li I like it. I like the art. I like the fact that it's voice acted. Very good voice acting. I like the mystery. Right. I like the, the way you solve, like figure out clues and put them together. That's really fun. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. <laughs>